Uh, so this is a, a demo about the 60 Touch UI. Uh, it's a real phone software that we are using uh, from the computer and then I'm using this kind of a external display to show how it behaves. And later on licenses will show how the actual devices will look like. So this is a software and using the face demo. You can tap anywhere on the screen. So if you tap to the clock icon it will take you to clock application or you can quickly change the profile from the status area. And similarly you can use any of the family S60 uh, functionalities. You can quickly scroll in the lists like that. Uh, so the idea is that highlight always follows your finger movement and you know where you are in the list and not uh, you are not just thrown to somewhere in the list. And the more you have names and if you keep scrolling, uh, it accelerates the scrolling uh, so that it's faster to go some, some places. Um, then a similar functionality is also in the web browser. You can uh, you can scroll on the web page and you can quickly see what's in there and how it looks like. That's the idea. Uh, then uh, also in the images, let's go and open an image. Oh no, it opens to a different resolution that we are supporting. Uh, you can make a small gesture and it goes to the next image. Um, and then uh, let's take a look at the text inputting. So. Uh, we are actually providing the widest set of text input methods uh, compared to anyone else. Uh, and there. So uh, it always opens the method that you have used last time. Uh, last time we used this kind of a keypad. You can use this uh, with stylus. Uh, and of course you, if you go to the uh, field that uh, is waiting for characters, it turns automatically to QWERTY keyboard or whatever QWERTY uh, 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 based input. You can switch to handwriting recognition anytime. And the third input method is, is then the virtual D9, which is a full screen um, a keypad. And, and then you can use it with finger or with thumb uh, while you are walking or, or things like that. So it depends on what you like. Uh, it also depends on languages because if you are uh, want to write Chinese, you want to use handwriting recognition for all of the details in the characters and so on. And we are supporting more than 50 languages at the moment. Uh, so there should be your own language as well in the list. That's the idea. And there might be all kind of a touch devices. Uh, so there might be just a couple of hardware keys or there might be touch devices with full QWERTY keyboard or with T9 keyboard or whatever.